Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're playing, doing another video in the coffin of Andy and Lele. I'm very excited to do this once again, just like every time, because I love this game. Now let's go straight and do it. We've been doing this for an hour overall now, apparently, which is quite interesting to know. And last time we escaped the weird hotel thing. Are you looking for something specific? Nah, just window shopping. Oh, in that case, my interest you in leaving me alone? Okay. I'm sorry. And then you got run over by a car. Just kidding. Get off the road, stupid. Wow, okay then. Over here. This is the road. <laughs> Why did I get yelled at when I went over there? Are you tired of living? Inquires the ad. Ask your doctor if euthanasia is right for you. Wow. A soft drink ad. There are three new and exciting flavors, limited time only. Try them now or miss out forever. Ooh, caramelized apple and cinnamon. I want to try that. We can't afford any nonsense right now. Oh, come on. It's just a couple of bucks. You can have that or you can have dinner. It's up to you. Ugh. This sucks. It's limited time, too. That's... Starbucks? Don't. You told me it's my own choice whether I want dinner or soda. Well, I lied. Of yours, Andrew. What do I even put up with you for? Okay, then. I ask myself that every day. Anyway, we're not wasting money on this, and that's final. This is the first time I've had to record this. And so far, not now, I'm trying to catch the news. There isn't going to be anything about us in there, no matter how many times you check. Whatever, did you find the gun yet? Also, pack your things, we have to leave in the morning. I forgot what I was in the middle of saying. Oh my god. Cause of the gun. Though it's not really yours anyway, but whatever, the warden's gun is yours now. Looks, Andrew has been hoarding in newspapers ever since you arrived. It's the papers from a few days ago, there's nothing worthwhile written on it. The paper isn't even comfortable enough to... All in all, it's a total waste of money. Ironic. Considering he was yelling at me for that. Suppose I should throw these in the washer while I still can. This is substantially smaller than the last apartment. You throw the laundry in the washer. Although I guess at least we're not trapped in here. There's an article about a chemical link in some city you've never been to. The article details instructions for people in the area to stay home and to seal their windows. Hazmat workers will be sent to rescue people block by block. That sounds kind of concerning. You're not done here yet. I'm not. All done. You're welcome. Never mind. Great, thanks. I really am such a sweetheart. You're so damn lucky to have me. Yeah, yeah. I could... I cook, and I clean, and I fe a feast on the eyes. Meanwhile, what do you do? Watch, all the TV watch TV all day like a slob. Knock it off. You're not going to be in the news, Andy. What is happening? <laughs> I should have known. Oh, what are you going to do about it, Andy? You can choke me out again, are you? Are you? Do you want me to? Oh, come on, I'm kidding. It's all in good fun. I thought we were fine. We are. I'm just messing around. It's just a nickname. Get over yourself. The one I asked... The one thing I asked of you. And it's symbolic. You and your romanticism. Shove it up. I don't know what I was expecting. Listen, I'm behaving. What more do you want? I'm being so good to you. Aren't you? Because I'm getting the opposite impression here. Yeah, yeah, you think I'm so awful, huh? You want to see what it's like when I actually misbehave? I could be so much worse. Should I show you just how awful I really am? Go for it. Though you're going to find me a lot less accommodating than Andy. And now to have some less Im important news. One of the quarantine departments has had a bit of a situation. Nothing major, just a fire that burned the whole place down. Everybody died. Yes, everybody. A representative of the water company is here with us today. Is there anything you'd like to add? Yes, my deepest condolences to the family members of the deceased. 
This apartment was most definitely not a wholly mismanaged mess. Better burned to the ground. Therefore, it is so sad that this happened. To ease the sadness, we recommend you try our Toxy Soda. We just rolled out three new exciting flavors. Excuse me, sir. Something seems to be going wrong with your microphone. I'm sure you mean to say to say to our drink, our trusty bubbly pop, which happens to be our sponsor. And it doesn't happen. It doesn't even make your organs bleed. Unlike some alternatives. Anyway, that was all for now. Tune in again later for more wholesome news to cheer up your day. That was our apartment, wasn't it? Was being the correct tense indeed. Did I leave the oven on? It said everybody died. Oh, that's great, isn't it? Um... They must think we died too, and all the evidence are, of our scabities has been... Let's say, has been inc incinerated. I can't talk. I can't read. I can't... Give me a second. My brain needs to reset, apparently. I wonder about that. Haha, <laughs> I told you it'd all work out. This still leaves us homeless and just about penniless. Whatever, things are clearly going to sort themselves out. I'm gonna go get some sleep. Good night. I'm gonna stay up a bit longer. Maybe the late night news will have more information on the fire. Suit yourself. I love how they said less important news. As usual, you fall asleep without a care in the world. Uh. Someone has entered the room. Is this a future scene thing? From last time? Okay then. Wake up. We've gotta go. Uh. Hmm. Get up. I had a vision. We're about to get killed. We've got to go now. You have a gun. It seemed like they were using a knife. Can we just... Shoot him? Or do you not have ammo? Although I guess that would be really freaking loud. Come to think of it. The park is this way, but there's nothing interesting there at this hour. I don't know if there ever is, to be honest. The park's kind of just lame. So, want to stay here and see if this killer guy actually shows up? And what, I, what did I do to deserve to get murdered in my sleep for anyway? You killed like three people. Might be a bit risky staying here. You don't know which direction they came from, right? Assuming anyone shows up anyway? They will, I'm sure. And so you stand there and wait. And wait. And wait. Andrew lights up his fourth cigarette. Another one? Way to blow money. I'm bored and cold. Probably cold because because that crap messes with your blood circulation. Okay, mom. Makes you important. Impotence too, by the way. It didn't sound like I'd be meeting any girls anytime soon anyway. What's stopping you? Ugh, I said enough. Quiet you. I thought you were hiding. We were hiding? cultist. Lucky for you, it wasn't the guy who you were expecting to come slit your throat. Though he sure looked familiar anyway. Didn't we eat that guy? D don't say that out loud. Oh, sorry, didn't we chop that guy up and store him in our freezer? Ashley, come on. <laughs> Seriously though, I guess there's more where he came from. Where do you suppose he was off to? My sex and drugs party with demons. Duh. Why are you asking me? Whatever, should we follow him? But I'm trying to see if my vision comes true or not. It's not like we both have to be here. You really don't want to stand here alone in the middle of the night, but you're also curious about what the cult this cultist look like guy is up to. Ugh, fine. You go. But come back soon. You were Andrew? Oh! I didn't honestly know that's how this works. I thought we were just going to be Lele the entire time. Uh, wait, hold the door, please. Run, sucker, run. The elevator leaves before the third cultist can board. Haha. <laughs> Curse you. Oh, 
All right, then. Two, unemployment office. One, blank. Negative one, club, six FU. It's asking for a passcode. I'm guessing it's hidden around here somewhere. Staff only, it says, and it's locked. Mixed waste. Bio waste. Maybe you'll start eating out of here once your money runs out. Oops. Club. Oh, 666. Oh, I feel like that's kind of obvious, come to think of it. How do I... Ha. The elevator arrives. Of course. Oh. Of course. <laughs> I don't know why I even entertain the idea of it being anything else. I don't either, man. Uh. Huh? What? Who let you in? Sorry, was I not supposed to be here? This is a private event. Shoo shoo. Isn't this the deal? What? What? I hope not. My wife would kill me. What the hell are you talking about? There's no such thing. I do have a wife. No, there is no demons. What is happening? Oh, well, just regular demon summoning them? I mean, that's what I was told, but... Listen, who the hell invited you? You're not even dressed popular properly. Right, sorry, I didn't know there was a dress code. I don't know who told you about today, but you can go kick rocks. Alright, I'll go. No harm done. I can't believe this. They literally invite anyone these days, huh? That just means six eyes is getting popular. We should be glad. So I'm guessing our neighbor was part of these guys' little club. We're pretty far from home, though. Maybe they gather in multiple locations? Can these guys actually summon demons, though? I mean, our neighbor managed it eventually, but you decide you should get, get inside somehow and find out. Ugh. What do I care what those clowns are up to, anyway? You decide that if a way forward doesn't strike you before you're done with your smoke, you just call it quits. And then, just as you're putting your smoke out, there's a key under the cigarette butt drawer. Got employee key. Of course. The top layer is full of cake. The warehouse and paper cups. 666. Six, six. Oh. This crumpled note in the trash that reads, Stop eating my lunch, you animals. <laughs> Somehow, someone has left a note. It reads, To whom whomever ate my casserole, I will have your head on a plate. Ah, the office life. <sighs> Drab set, set of drapery you have ever laid. Drabbest set of drapery you have ever lay, laid your eyes on. I can't. I can't do talking today, apparently. On the cart sits plates full of cake and a coffee dispenser. What's with the cakes? It's a bit late for a work meeting. The elevator is coming up. Should I hide? Or should I go in? Curtains. Lower layer only has paper cups. Lower layer only has paper cups. Shall I leave? Ah. Ugh, this is going to take two, two trips. Grumbling as he goes, the cultist takes one of the carts down the elevator with him. Should I hide within here? Remove paper cups from the cart. You could certainly squeeze yourself into the cart now, but you'd also be seen instantly. You pull down one of the curtains. Got curtain. You wrap yourself in the curtain like a ghost and stuff yourself inside the cart. I feel like this isn't going to work. The cultist hastily shoves a piece of cake in his mouth. Oh, Dark Lord, that is good. He carts you into the elevator. How is this cart so much heavier than the other? Gasp! Could, could it be? The weight of my sins? No! Okay then. Okay, okay, be cool. No one has to know. Between me and the devil. Just out of normal. Did, did I miss it? Shh. 
I can't see anything from here. Um. Well then, everybody, the ritual is all set up. Now I know you're all excited about the free coffee, but first things first. All together now. Show yourself, Lord Unknown. This is such fun. Reveal yourself to us, Lord Unknown. They don't have candles set up. The cultist keeps calling for the Lord Unknown for a while. But it's becoming increasingly clear that nothing is going to show up. Wow, look at this amateur hour. My Ashley summoned something on her first try. Though that's probably not a good thing, is it? Probably not. I feel Lord Unknown is with us but today, but only in spirit. Um, I brought the cards down. But someone stole one of the cakes. I don't know who. Oh, can we have some now? Ah, uh, yes, please enjoy yourselves. Where are your robes? Er, sorry, the thing is I spilled coffee on some coffee on them. <laughs> Idiot. I know you've got your answers, you miss Ashley. So I mean I can go back, or should I stay here? It should be fine to take two pieces, right? Look how many there are. That's kind of fair, actually. He's too busy eating cake to care. Why is there a guy on the stage? Hee <laughs> hee, I'm on the stage. It's like I'm famous. Wow, someone is under underdressed. He's cheap. Offer milk for the coffee instead of cream. Also, the beer they sell tastes terrible. Not that it... Well, well, say nothing. Converse. When you hear about this guy from the first place? The occult magazine I'm subscribed to at an ad. I figured it was going to be lame, but thought I'd come to check it out since I don't live far too far away. What about you? Same. Anyway, I gotta go. It was nice talking to you. See you next time. What next time? I thought she didn't like it here. Um. I'm quite confused. Can I do something stupid? Do I need to do something stupid? Do I need to do something smart? I feel like that's the right answer. Is this a freaking bar? No service right now. I'm so confused. What do I need to do? Oh. Hey, didn't we already tell you to beat it? Oh, are they done? How'd the summoning go? Ugh, no. Look, man, you're ruining the whole vibe with that getup. Yeah, you can't come in here dressed like this again. The whole point is that we don't know who's who. You know what? I think you're right. Shame on me. I'll leave right away. Um, you're good. good? Just don't let this happen again. Have a good night. Do I go back now? Did anything happen? Are you done snooping on the cultist? Yeah, so there's apparently a little cultist club where they all gather around for some demons' treats, but they can't summon for their lives. Absolutely nothing showed up. Nothing showed up on the sign either. I don't understand. It was a vision for sure. There was like, you hear a car. It, 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 that's him. That's the guy who slit her throats in my dream. Yikes, he really just went into our room like that. You still doubt me? Where did he get the key? Should we just leave? We're supposed to be vacating the room in the morning anyway. Our stuff is still in there. What stuff? We sold off most of the junk you were hoarding. And I can live without the trash and laundry. Well, like someone pointed out, we can't keep wasting money buying new clothes. I am not risking my life getting in there to rescue your socks. It's... This new one sucks. Still not interested in the fact. In fact, I'm somehow even less inclined now. <laughs> you know nothing of my troubles. Regardless, I think we have to kill that guy, though. This is no random burglary. He's specifically after us for whatever reason. Like, somehow he tracked us down, so even if we run away now, 
Won't he keep coming for us? That's not wrong, but... Ugh. Why is he still in the room? We're not even in there. Well, if I was him, I'd figure we were out getting food or something. So now he's probably waiting, us, waiting to kill us upon entry. Unlikely, since he wants to go about this quietly. Um... He's definitely hiding in the closet or something. Waiting for us to go back to sleep. Then he'll kill us in our sleep, just like my vision. Again. And you know this how? I know because that's what I'd do. Duh. Plus he's using a knife, so there. Listen, Andrew, just trust me. I've thought these things through. You question not why she's thought about such things. Now enough dilly-dallying. Let's get in there and pretend we forgot something. Then we'll lure him somewhere less conspicuous. And then what? You have to ask. So I checked earlier in between this video and la the last video. There are two chapters now, which this is the second one, but there's supposed to be four once the game is done. So I'm quite excited for them to update it. Alright, leave this to me. This has got to be the stupidest thing we've done so far. Personally, I think shooting fireworks indoors was dumber, but hey, opinions. Which I may add was also your idea. I was 12. You should have stopped me. So, should I talk you out of this one, or... No, shut up and follow my nudie. You are Ashley. Alright, cool. That felt so confusing, being Andrew. No one stepped forth to kill you yet. Oh gosh, jolly, Andrew. I just realized our impromptu night walk to the store has left me parched. Is that so? Let us return to the gas stop at once. And since we want to be oh so quick about it, let's take a shortcut through the park. Where we may frolic amongst the foliage shielded from sight. How's that sound? Huh? Terrific. Let's go. Not so fast. Let me grab my things first. I just realized I don't trust the staff here. Given that you're about to roam with a hitman around, would you like to save the game? Yes. All good? Can we go? I didn't pick up my things yet. Come on, hurry up. Well? Congratulations, you have found the hitman. And hide, which is the best part. For the record, Andrew doesn't fare much better. When it comes to cutting people up, the hitman whoops is... Though, given his romantic streak, he probably didn't want to live without you anyway. I bet you'd be happy about that if you weren't too dead to feel anything. The hitman wins, and... Ah, yes, the world is much better off without you. However, this is also anticlimactic, you get a free do-over. Yeah, I would agree. Got wash laundry. That all I need? Holding the door open for me, are we? What a gentleman. Just letting in some fresh air and the sounds of the city. Hurry up and get your things ready. I already did. I feel like I could have just shot the closet. Wouldn't that be easier? Is, is he coming after us or not? I don't know. I thought he would. Let's pick a corner we can ambush him from. What corner? It's all bushes. I mean... That would work, too. Also this corner. Here. This tree will hide us nicely. What are we going to do if he just stays at the motel? Well, I guess we'll just have to leave, then. We'll grow eyes in the back of our heads and keep watching over our shoulders at all times. Ugh. What a pain. Can't believe I'm actually hoping he'd show up now. Good. Don't feel bad about murdering a murderer. And on that note... Not it. You're making me do it again? Do it only as a knife. You've got this. Fair. Ah, I hear footsteps, I think. Actually, wait. I've never fired a gun. Crap. I think he stopped. I can't hear anything anymore. You can't ambush a killer. There's waiting. That's waiting to ambush you. And you can't very well start looking for him either. Not without letting him know that you know he's here. Crap. Did we whisper too loudly? Is he onto us? Why did he stop? See what we're up to? But this all looks suspicious as hell. This doesn't look like anything. He shouldn't even be able to see us from behind this. An idea hits you then. 
Who's dirty boy? No, we can't do it here. What? Off I go. Come and find me. I don't want to. Actually, seriously, I don't know how this thing works. No peeking. What is happening? You are Andrew. <coughs> Time has come to play hide and seek with a killer and Ashley. Nothing. An attempt or several has been made to place the trash where it belongs. So close, they were all so close, but couldn't quite stick the landing. Push. Oh, oh god, it's just you. What are you doing, you absolute- Shh, you didn't find me, keep looking. Do you want to die? What if he sneaks up on you or- Shoo, shoo, leave. Okay, there's some bugs in the bush, but not much else. Nothing. Quite confused what is happening. Nothing. Shopping cart? An abandoned shopping cart. Very classy. Oh god. Shoot. Did... It, is he dead? Nice work. Ashley reclaims her gun. Hehe, <laughs> I knew you had it in you. I have a few choice words to say to you, but this is neither the time nor the place. Let's get going before someone comes to see what's up. Well, then we can shoot them too. Don't think we'll always be so lucky. Oh yeah, and what was that? What was what? You're running out of the, off out of the blue. What? You need an excuse to start rummaging through the bushes. Now that the hitman thought you were looking for me, he sat there waiting to kill you. He didn't know you had a gun, and then would kill him instead. I am a bloody genius. And what if he was in the bush and ran off to you, huh? Genius. Well, he wasn't. Ugh. It all worked out. Clue me in the next time you have these genius ideas so that I can tell you off. <laughs> you are Ashley. Normality. Keep getting confused every time it switches to Andrew. I just look at the wrong character. Do we need to interact with this corpse? I don't know why we would, but I guess we're already cannibals. Do we just leave him here? Why not? As long as no one saw us do it, who's gonna have a clue with us? Hell, this guy carries knives with him. He's clearly a criminal. Maybe the authorities will assume his friends got to him or something? Ever the optimist. Oh, whatever. Let's just go before someone comes to walk their dog or something. Got car keys. Oh yeah, baby. Leave those fingerprints all over the guy. That's just great. I'm sure you meant to say something else. I guess it doesn't matter, since you've never got your fingerprints taken. Have you? Yeah. Ugh. What for? My driver's license? Well, good thing it's me man, handling of corp this corpse, then. It's this one. I drive. Alright, let's see if this guy has anything interesting in his car. So much for not leaving fingerprints. It's a little late to worry about that. You've already touched the door or the handle of the wheel. It's fine if it's me, right? There's an envelope with various papers inside. The most notable one reads, Dear Mr. Washing Machine, consider this a receipt for your cleaning services. We're extremely grateful that you've accepted the cleaner and laundry for us. And we're so confident in your services that we will know not be needing any progress reports. In fact, please do not contact contact us. If anyone were, were to ask, the less we know, the better. As a bonus, we've included free samples of all the new soda flavor, flavors from our sister company. Happy washing. Are we the laundry? Seems that way. <laughs> Yikes. Take the car and go. Vroom, vroom. So, where to? Um, could you elaborate? We're off to you somewhere, right? Got the car and everything now. This isn't exactly the best situation to go joyriding in a stolen car. We barely have enough to money to feed us. Fine, let's go take mom's. Does everything I say go in ear, one ear and out the other? We're never going to talk to anyone we know ever again, remember? 
Did I say squat about talking to her? Let's go rob it. <laughs> Leave. What money do you think she has exactly? I'm sure she's got something. I'm sure she, I thought she inherited some jewelry from my grandma. Yeah, well, yeah, but she can't sell those. She can't, but I sure can. Ah, no. We still can't get over there. Why not? We've got pursuers or something. Our parents' place is definitely something that they've looked into. Listen, Andy. Wrong. Andrew. The pursuer is taking a nap in the park right now. Do you honestly think you're anywhere near important enough for someone to hire two? If anything, it seems they assume that that guy took care of us, and that's that. The thing is, I'd rather be overly cautious than dead. Ugh, we'll be quick. Get in there, rob them, kill them, get out. So now you want to kill our parents. Great. You just said we can't talk to them again anyway. So they might as well be dead? I'm way too tired for this. Fine, we'll just rob them. Break in while they're at work and get some money and then get lost. I'll take it. Where to live now anyway? I know the place, but I don't remember the exact address. She told actually told you the address? Yeah. Huh? The only she told me she, the only thing she told me was to stop calling her. She'd probably figure out she'd probably figured I'd tell you then. What well what a sloppy job you did. Do you forgive me, Ashley? It didn't seem like relevant information at the time. Whatever, just drive. I haven't driven a car in over two years. Well, will we be fine? Just don't distract me with anything. Okie dokie. Feet on the floor. My god, it's not even your car. Shut up and put your seatbelt on. Boo, this sucks. Yeah, yeah, it sucks. Now hurry up. I'll be goddamned if we get caught in dead man's car just because we got pulled over for doing something stupid. Make me then. Do you or do you not want to go and rob our parents? I said, make me, Andy. I, okay, what do you want? I'm nailing it right now. Oh, come on, it's just a joke. I know it's not a joke. But yeah, it is. You get so mad, it's just funny. Like, I don't know you, Ashley. You've pulled this stuff before. I have no idea what you're talking about. We'll keep going, Andy, Andy, until they get tired of correcting you. And suddenly, it's Andy Lele and the stupid stuff all over again. Way to read into it. I was just honestly just joking. I was honestly just joking around. I can't talk. Well, not then if it's... it's not funny, and you're going to stop. <sighs> Nothing's funny to you anymore. Well, are you gonna drive or what? I just don't want to get us into trouble. But you don't have to be such a jerk about it. I do, though, when you're such an idiot about it. Just drive. Are you angry? I'm looking for out oh, for us. Drive, Andy. drive Andrew and so he does finally and he decides to give Andrew the silent treatment until he apologizes you're not sure what he needs to apologize for exactly but you won't forgive him until he does so while you wait to, for him to notice and you're not talking to him you fall asleep whoa what the I'm pretty sure you're dreaming but at the same time you feel wide awake Oh, wow. Okay, I did not realize how long this has been going, but I need to cut it there. Ah, that was really fun. If you couldn't tell, because I forgot to check how long it's been, and I haven't checked in quite a while. But that was The Coffin of Andy and Lele, part four? Yeah, four. Okay, everyone, thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this series as much as I have so far, and until next time. Remember to check your closet, I almost forgot to say that. And uh, goodbye.